welcome to Around Zimbabwe with Prince. Today we are visiting Chinoy Caves in Makonde district in the Marshall Island West province of Zimbabwe. This is the first part of a three part series in which we will be exploring the activities which are around Chinoy Caves. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss the following parts. Historically, the first white man believed to have discovered the caves was the hunter and explorer Frederick Courtney Solis, the famous European hunter, and um, that was during his wanderings in around 1887, thereabouts. However, even before uh, Frederick Courtney Solis uh, discovered the caves, the caves were being used as a stronghold by an outlaw called Nyamakwere who made many victims by throwing them into the cellar pool. The notorious Nyamakwe was eventually defeated by a headman called Chinoi, who became a Mashona chief or a chief for the Shonas, and he, hence the name Chinoi, which was given uh, even to the nearby town, the present day Chinoi town. During the 1830s, during the years of Mfekani down south, Chief Chinoi and his followers actually used these caves as a refugee from the raiding tribes such as the Matebele or the Debeles and also from the Anguni or Unguni migrants who were fleeing the Mfekani from down south going to the towards the north and actually until a few years ago the remains of Chief Chinois green beans could be seen in some of the underground passages in the caves. The traditional name for the caves is Chiroro Ziwa which means the pool of the fallen. The name was derived from an incident which took place in the 1830s when the Angoni tribe or Anguni tribe who were moving northwards surprised the people living near the caves and actually flung them uh, into the pool, thereby killing them. The Nguni raiders flung the Chinoi people to their deaths into the sleeping pool. Chinoi caves are actually surrounded by a national park and the uh, camping facilities there there are so many other activities that are uh, actually carried out in the Chennai Caves. The caves are open between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily. And for a nominal fee of three US dollars, uh, local Zimbabweans can gain access to the caves. Geologists believe that the sleeping pool was created when the ground uh, caved in or collapsed into the dungeons there and he created what they call the wonder hole which actually houses the sleeping pool. The sleeping pool is filled with water of an unbelievably blue and the crystal clear and uh, incredibly the water of the pool actually defies the meteorological logic. It stays at a constant temperature of about 22 degrees Celsius throughout the year, day and night. Save for a few days in October when the temperatures at the surface really rise to around 30 degrees so that the, water, the temperature uh, on the surface of the water is at around uh, 24 degrees Celsius. Just because the temperature of the water stays at a constant 22 degrees Celsius, it is believed that because of that, then uh, it means the caves or the sleeping pool is part of a very big uh, underground water body that actually helps it maintain that um, same temperature and also the water level does not rise a lot throughout the year even when it rains so much the only difference is about a few centimeters that is almost like constant water level and legend is it that there is a channel that originates from Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania goes through Chinoy Caves and all the way to Mozambique but that has not yet been proven scientifically but uh, uh, probably in the future that could be uh, proven to be the case. The Chinoy Caves and the national park around it is managed by the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority. And they also run the motel that offers accommodation and food at the Chinoy Caves. There are signposts throughout the caves it is difficult for one to get lost. The place is well signposted. And for an additional fee of $10, you can actually get a tour guide who will take you through the caves, explain some of the geology around the caves, and uh, make it a bit easier for you to go through uh, the place. There are two major sections. 
there is the sleeping pool section and there's the duck cave. Both sides require somebody who is a bit fit, uh, especially when coming up from the caves. The place is a bit tiresome, so you have to be fit or you should be prepared to take a lot of breaks. There are benches all over the place that you can sit to relax as well as catch your breath. The place is good for family outings, gatherings, camps, church gatherings, youth gatherings, and any other form of gathering. The, uh, the area is uh, mainly for sober senses and it is a family friendly. Please visit Chinai Caves. Uh, it is a wonder, one of the natural uh, wonders here in Zimbabwe and you will not regret uh, a weekend out at Chinai Caves. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss uh, the next episodes around Chinai as well as around Zimbabwe and thank you for watching.